Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the next JS. Today we are going to learn Firebase push notifications using the cloud messaging. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So let's see how the Firebase web push notifications work using the cloud messaging. So here you can see that we have the FSIM token right now. So let's try to just copy this FSIM token. I'm just using the postman request also and the same we will do with this one also Firebase console so here we have opened this console so let's add uh, dd notifications and try to send with token fcm token over here and let's try to send it and here you can see dd is there when i send try to send it from here right the next one, I'm going to send it from the Firebase FCM. So here I'm adding the token over here. So token is the same. Let's see. This is the token. I'm going to paste the token over here. And let's try to send it. Okay. Hello, Technical Rajni. So here it will be re reflecting the new message. What's the result over here? Is there any error? No, it's there. Let me refresh and I try to send it. Hello, you can see that. Hello, technical Rajni. The messages are there, right? So whether you can send the messages using the FCM Google APIs, whether you can send the messages from the here, the push notification will come over here, right? So suppose I'm just close this browser, right? And now I'm trying to send this request from this one, right? So just hide that first. Let's try to send it again. And what will happen? It will come up from the drop down, right? So let's try to send again. Let me just compress this and let's try to send this one. Okay. So have it to the scrolling. And let's try to send. Here you can see hello technical Rajni and the get extra is coming over here, right? Here you can see that. So when it is in the background, the notifications is coming. When it is up, we are just doing it with the notifications. That is toast notification, react toastify, right? So let's dive into the code level. This is the demo that we have done. Let's go to the code level, okay? So first of all, we have to go with the public and here we have to create Firebase messaging SWS dot js file so here we have to import this files okay after that firebase initialize here in you need to add the api key odd domain database url project id storage bucket everything you need to add over here or you can put it from the env right the next one you have to define the firebase messaging with messaging and here we have the back messaging on background so here this is a, when there is a when the app is in background so this will call with the notifications okay and this is handle incoming messages from the main application so you can add it over here right so this is the code for that one for handling the notifications when it's in the background right moving to the next part this is public firebase messaging sw.js in the public okay so it's next 14 right so after that, we have to create in the source, we have to create the config. In the config, we have to create the firebase.ts file. Okay. So here you need to add this line of import the functions you need for the SDK to use. Okay. And uh, check whether the token is available in the index DB or not. So this is that one taken in the local storage. Initialize the Firebase app with the init. So here we are going to create the init function over here. Okay. So this init function, what would it will do? So this is the Firebase initialization of the app, right? So here we are doing messaging token in the local storage. So we are waiting for that one. And if the token is not there, then return the not equal to null. Then we are returning the token in the focal storage. Okay, requesting the notification permission from the browser. So if it is granted, then we are going to get the token messaging with the rapid key. So how to get this rapid key? Just give me a second so you have to go and just go over here project settings so cloud messaging this is your rapid key so you have to generate this rapid key over here okay so make sure you have to create that one 
right for create the uh, pair of it okay so this is that part right next one this is done if fsum token is there then we are going to set in the local storage you can also okay then there is a catch block else here if the fcm token is already there just return the token so if it is there then we are just returning the token over here okay return the fcm token right this is that one and this is the get message function which we are just on when there is a on message received so the we are log that the message has been received you can check it over here when uh, in the console i will show you localhost 3000 so here you can see If I try to send these messages so here you can see that the service worker and the message received here you can see that message received will call so if I go over here message received is called right here it, it is coming over here right after this this is done the firebase cloud messaging okay so this is done after that we have to go with the pages API we don't require because we are not using Okay, so we have app.txx file and then index.txx file. Okay, this is important. So word wrap this also. So here we are using the style global that's depend up to you. Then app props from the next app. Then use effect in the use state, Firebase cloud messaging, then the toast. This is also required. So here we are initializing the FCM token and the messages. Okay, so here we have a function that is get token. So we are using the Firebase cloud messages in it. So we are calling this init one so this we are calling init one so here it will give me the token right so this is the this is the full fledged code for getting the token right so here we are getting the token okay here you can see that the init so if the token is received then we are set into the fcm token okay else catch block okay then here we are registering the firebase messaging SWS. So service worker we are registering over here. If it is registered, then message that server service worker registered successfully. Else catch it will go. Okay, so here we are showing the toast not notification that uh, here you can see that the event data notification we have already consoled that one. This is the object title we are getting on. So you have to just it, whether you want to show title body whatever you can show it over here in the toast notifications, right? So here we have a toast success with the toast ID. Okay, so add the event listener on the message, right? After this, we have a sync function to set the token, get token, and the set that one. Okay, after this is done, so here we are returning the component with the page props, SM token, get token, and the messages in the index.ts file. Okay, so because first part is loading over here, so it, this page is asking for the permission and generating the token, right? So here we have a toast container next next head depends on to you whether you want to use head because I had deleted that one styles home modules callback react toastify okay so this is the next year's props fcm token these are the type we have defined okay so here we are getting from the previous page that is fcm token get token and the message okay so here check notifications callback notification permissions we have or not if it is status is granted then we are receiving the token okay then we have a use effect if the permissions are accepted in that one okay then check the notification and uh, initialize the function okay then we have a handle request right so request the permissions and here if uh, if the user denied the notification that you have denied the notification and the permissions okay then we have the render allow notification block please allow notifications to get your token so this is the permissions right then render granted notification block so you have granted the notification permissions okay and your fcm token will print it over here okay right if the fcm token is there then we will show the fcm token and we'll copy paste that token and uh, do the rest of the process okay or you can save this token anywhere Okay, so here we have permission denied, permission default, and permission def here you can see that. So here you can see you granted your notifications. Okay, so that's the reason, and the your FCM token is 
token hello this is a message right so whenever i try to send this messages from here here you can see that the message is coming over here right okay and the same with the that part okay so this is that one right so the packages we have to install that is npm i for the firebase and the react hostify okay and um, in the next config mgs you don't need to do anything okay and uh, these are the files that we have to add it after this the web push notification using the cloud messaging will done any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day